Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to go over how many worms you will need to get started in worm farming and get your worm bin up and running. So stay tuned. There are many variables that go into how many worms you should start with depending on your goals for your worm farm. First, how big is your worm bin going to be? The first and one of the most important questions you will need to ask yourself is how big will my worm bin be when figuring out how many worms you will need to start your worm bin with? If you have already purchased a worm bin, this will kind of decide for you in a way how many worms you are going to need for your bin. Normally, adding worms to your bin will range from roughly from a half a pound of worms to one and a half pounds of worms for every square foot of worm bin space. Your max density of worms is what you would have as a maximum number of worms you would want to start your worm bin with. If you're a new worm farmer, you may want to start with a bit less worms than this just to be on the safe side. If the worms think there are too many of them in the bin, they may try to leave and will want to avoid and you will want to avoid this happening with your new worm farm. There are advantages to starting with more worms. The first one is that the worms will be able to process more food waste right from the start once they get settled into their new homes. The second one is that if there are more worms, they will be able to find each other easier and quicker and therefore being able to reproduce faster from the start. This will bin, build your bin up quicker and produce more worms and get things going faster in your bin. If you are a veteran worm farmer, I recommend starting starting with more worms, even up to four pounds of composting worms per square foot of bin space. This will get you to your, max, your maximum processing of food waste as quickly as possible right out of the gate. Do I have to worry about too many worms? One thing you will never have to worry about in your bin is having too many worms. If you are starting with a correct weight of worms in your bin, worms are awesome at self-regulating their numbers. They will stop reproducing in numbers once they use up their space in the bin or food waste. What does an average family need for their worm farm population? On average, a normal U.S. adult will create between a half a pound and a pound of food scraps every day in their household. So a normal house Hole will produce about two to three pounds of food scraps daily if they are eating at home regularly. If you figure that a worm can eat about half their weight every day, you will need about three times the number of worms to keep up with your food waste with your worms and your worm bin. Using this math, you will need about 9 to 12 pounds of worms to keep up with your family's food waste and prevent it from going to the landfill. Starting with less or more worms, pros and cons. Some of the cons of starting with more worms is you can start with too many worms and they will want to escape from their bin. Another one would be that you are a beginning worm farmer and make a big mistake starting you know, out and kill your worms that you just bought. This is why a new worm farmer, as a new worm farmer, you're better off starting with less worms. Your population will take more time to get built up to the full population. Next, some pros of starting with more worms would be you will have a larger population so you will get worm castings faster to start out with. You will be able to add more food scraps and get your scraps processes processed quicker having to throw out less scrap, getting your bin up to max population faster than with less worms. I personally recommend to start with a fewer number of worms if you are a new farmer just starting out and with a larger population if you are an experienced vermicomposter. All right, so that'll wrap up this week's video about how many worms you should start your worm farm with. I hope this video helped you to understand how to start and build up your worm farm population over time. If this video was helpful to you, I hope you will share, like, and subscribe to my Worm Whisperer channel. And as always, have a great day worm farming, and I'll see you all next time. Thank you for joining me for this video.